you guys thought on hip hop journalism today? Like, y'all see y'all kind of, oh, you know, right. bringing that shift back? You think it's, or you think it's just corny right now with these different hours? Yeah, yeah, it's corny because back in the day, okay, when I did an uh, interview with the Murder Dogs, you know, we would interview these guys, and you would see the interview, you know, what I'm saying a month later, two months later, or whatever. Now you have access to it right away, but. A lot of these journalists, they're jumping the gun, man. They're putting a lot of fucking bullshit stories. They're not getting the facts. Yeah. Like, for example, we interviewed the, the homie Renaissance, who's a Latin rapper out of uh, uh, Fort Worth, Texas. He made a song called Trump Dies, right? Well, the mm. Secret Service came to his house because they saw the video online. And we uh, we broke his story on digitalmusicnews.com. Uh, but in the headline, they put, Texas rapper uh, gets questioned by Secret Service in Trump assassination plot. It wasn't no assassination right. plot. It was an artistic expression in the song. You know what I'm saying? Right, that's all it was. Journalists nowadays, man, you know, shout out to the ones that don't do this, but a lot of the ones, there's so many of them, they put the bullshit out there. Like, okay, if we have, let's say we have a round table, like an episode where we have, you know, Mr. Servon and Sibo and a bunch of people talking, chopping it up at the same time, right? Okay, the whole show is full of just like, historical stuff about Pac or, or whatever the hell. But then they hear one little thing on the show that's controversial, they jump on that and they forget about the rest of the show. Yeah. yeah. They're quick to talk about AP9 talking about smashing Coco and beating Ice-T up or something like that, but they're not quick to talk about our Rap-A-Lot roundtable where we had 12 Rap-A-Lot legends on the line at the right. same time. Oh, when, oh, when we had when we had Bushwick Bill on the phone and he talked to DJ Ray Red for the first time in like fifteen years, like they not mm. they not they not gonna they not gonna document that you know what I'm saying? But when AP Nine was on the show, say so he had slapped the shit out of Ice T, he was on World Star. You see what I'm saying? Mm. That's the